You guys, we just arrived in the Maldives. <laughs> This is the airport, and then you just go across, get on your little boat, and they're gonna take us to our island. Where are we going? The Maldives. And are we gonna look for little sharkies? Yeah. You guys, we just arrived in the Maldives, and look how cute our villa is. I am so. I'm so pretty. So we're staying at Duau Yeru. And it's so great for the kids. So if we come in here, this is the bathroom. And then we have our own little jacuzzi. And then around the corner, we have our room. And then, boys, this is Knox's bed. That's my bed. That's Angela's bed. And then, Knox, can you show us the swing? Your bed. Our bed. We are literally right on the beach. And we have. We have the swing and our own beach. In our own beach. <laughs> this is no, awesome. it's like this beach. I've Are you it. living the dream, buddy? <laughs> Oh. And we're gonna go fishing with real fishing poles. Do you want to catch a fish with me? Oh. What? Oh. A dolphin cruise. Oh my! We go on a boat and dolphins jump around us. Oh. That's awesome. The buffet was actually so good. I got some Mediterranean food, some potato curry, fruit, tandoori chicken, grilled tuna and zucchini. Literally me and Cole's favorite now. We live for ahi and soy sauce. Oh, so Wait, what should we name him? Hermie? 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 That's a good name. So cute. Hi, Hermie. <laughs> That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> around noon and so we just spent the whole afternoon swimming. I read a book which was amazing. We swam for so long. No one's been snorkeling for the first time and he saw some fishes like right in the reef up in front of our room. And, and then, then, we, we, and then we got, we found a hermit crab. And we found a hermit crab. You want to see him? You want to hold him up? This is Herbie. And he's so little. We also went and looked at the kids club for a little, the boys had so much fun in there. And now we're going fishing. The boys have never gone fishing before, and so we're doing a little nighttime sunset fishing trip, and hopefully we catch something. What happened, Enzo? That girl caught a fish. I caught a fish. You didn't catch one yet? Like, Did you catch one? No, it was done now. He's trying though. Can you reel it in? I'm trying. Daddy, he's trying. Can okay? you reel in the line? I'm trying. Oh, look at all the extra lines. No, he's trying. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, you guys I did so good. Oh, he wants a high five. No, Enzo said. High five to the high fish. High five is tail. You can have his tail. tail. Fishy five. Look. Tail. The tail doesn't work. I got one. <laughs> Yay! 
Good Wait. job, you guys. Knox and Cole are just looking for fish on the end of the dock. That is so cute. We're just over here snorkeling. We saw that. You saw a new one? We saw that. We saw daddy fish. It's a lion fish right there too. Wait, do you see Dory? No. I think I see Dory over there. She's blue. There are just so many fish in here. Cole just tried to put super goop on the children's <laughs> bodies. Literally jail time for that. I don't know. He was about to lather this on them. We're going on a little family adventure on a clear bottom kayak. It's a super glossy day. There's like no wind. So we're gonna try to kayak around the whole island and let the boys kind of snorkel through the glass bottom. Today has already been such a good day. The kids were up before anyone in the resort, so we saw the sunrise, we looked at fish on the dock, and then we ate breakfast without anyone there, which was actually really relaxing. The kids just kind of played in the sand. Then we went on these clear bottom kayaks, saw some beautiful fish, and we're just working right now. The boys are just coloring and playing monster trucks, and me and Cole are sitting here, say hello. <laughs> working with the most beautiful view. It doesn't feel like work when this is our view. We're so lucky. And you guys, the most shocking moment of my life happened in Singapore. Me and Knox got up before everyone else. He woke up early because of the time difference. So we were just swimming by ourselves, playing in the pool, and he had to go poop. And so we went back into the room. Cole and Enzo were sleeping, and so Knox was walking into the bathroom to go, and I thought, let me just go check on the boys, make sure they're still asleep. I walked in the room where the boys were supposed to be sleeping, and I saw somebody laying there with like black hair, and I was like, what? Or I just saw something black, and I was like, what is on Enzo's head? So I got really close, and then I realized it was black hair. And the thought did not occur to me that I could be in the wrong room, so I was like, somebody he snuck into our room and is sleeping here. No, we were in the wrong freaking room. I'm like hovering over these poor people sleeping. They left the door cracked in my defense, but then I didn't realize I was in the wrong room until they started to sit up and they were like, huh? And I just grabbed Knox and we ran so fast. I'm just praying that they, they thought they saw a ghost or something, but Knox and Enzo were the only blonde kids I saw in the whole resort. And so I'm like, if they got a glimpse of us, they are 100% going to recognize us. Thankfully, I mean, maybe they saw us. I don't know what they looked like really besides their hair. So I don't think they saw us, but they never said anything. How far? You're high-fiving your fish? What happened to them? They got burned. <laughs> the other fish is not gonna get catch. No, the other fishies are safe. Enzo just woke up from a really good nap and I was working a bunch. Knox was just playing and Cole fell asleep, but I just woke him up because we're going we to get massages. massages. We're so excited. The boys are just gonna be right next door. They have this little kids area. Super nice aunties who work there. So they're just gonna color and play there for like an hour while we get a massage. And it's been a long time since I've gotten a massage and it is much needed. Well, hello. <laughs> That was nice. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Cole, what one did you do? 
The uh, muscle recovery? I don't know. Yeah, so strong to hard. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know what's going on. All I know is that was amazing. I All I know is I wasn't with my kids for an hour for the first time of the month, and <laughs> I got the best massage ever. I feel like I need a nap now, though. Enzo, give mom a kiss. <laughs> I'm freaking out right now because we have like a sunset cruise tonight, but we are the only ones on this giant catamaran. So we're cruising around the Maldives alone. You want to stay here forever? I love this little island. Me too. You guys, it is midnight right now. Enzo had only been asleep for a little bit and then he woke up just freaking out. We thought he had a bad dream or something. So we're trying to calm him down. But then he kept crying and like going like this. So I asked him if his ear hurt and he was like, my ear hurt. And then we realized he'd kind of been like yanking on it all day. And so I have got to give him a major shout out to the hotel we're staying at. The hotel is Dawa Iheru. They saved us. We're on this tiny, tiny island. Like in order to get here, you have to take a speedboat that you have to specially charter with the hotel, whatever. When we called reception, they're like, yeah, if it's an emergency, you're gonna have to take him back to the main island. We were like, okay, we have to figure out that. But then they, they have like a sister property a little bit away and they were like, let's see what we can do. So one of their staff members took a boat over to their other property, met with a doctor there, and caught Enzo antibiotic eardrops and baby toddler pain medicine. I am just like so grateful because he was freaking out and I know he's still in pain, he just finally fell back asleep. But I'm like, there's no way he would have been able to like be good at all if he didn't get this medicine, so thank you. Look at him right there, Knox. Hey, hey dolphins! Hey, hey, dolphins. Hey, hey. I know. Captain Knox, where do we go, man? Where is those dolphins? Can you see them? <laughs> where do we go, Knox? North, south, east, or west? East? Yeah. Which way is east? That way. Actually, you're pretty close, yeah. Good job. Last night was so much fun. We got home from our dolphin cruise and the boys were 
both so wiped. Enzo like has not been sleeping good. And so he needed to go to sleep, but Knox was like begging to go to bed, even though he took a nap. It was so random. He never wants to go to sleep or nap. And so I was like, okay, I will go to dinner by myself and then I'll switch you. And so at this hotel, their sister property is like, I don't know, a three minute boat right away. It's a little bit bigger. I like this hotel because it's small and like you can walk the whole island and it's very like, like rootsy feeling, but it was cool because it was a bigger hotel and they had like a different buffet than what we've had here. And so I went alone, I got my home meal and when I sat down to eat, I literally started shedding a tear. I was just so, 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 so grateful to be here and it was so fun to like see something new. It's called the Banyan Tree. The food was amazing literally like bury me in that butter chicken it was so good and it's just really cool that you can like have access to both hotels two three actually the coolest shell. We should keep it. Well, Enzo said it's an ice cream shell. Oh, an ice cream shell. <laughs> <laughs> I love the imagination. Can you eat it? Oh, yummy! Mm, that's yummy. Can I get a bite? Is it chocolate? Mmm, that's really good. Daddy, can you eat it? I need a bite. I need a bite. Oh. Mmm, thank you. <laughs> it's not deep. You can touch, Enzo. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. 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 Thank you.